The Polis administration has made this inauguration for the people and opened up areas for the public to watch. Let's go to Tori Mason, who is live out there with the hundreds of people who watched history being made. And, you know, one thing we saw were those banners, Tori, that said Colorado for all. Certainly a, a certain theme out there today. Absolutely, Brett. And since Jared Polis was first elected governor, the fact that he was going to be the first openly gay U.S. governor and the first Jewish Colorado governor came up a lot. And I've heard a lot of people talking today saying, why does it matter that he's Jewish? Why does it matter that he's gay? I found that the best people to answer those questions are the people it matters to. It's hugely important to see someone who is similar to you represented in government. When you've got a community that has been historically oppressed and marginalized, uh, showing that they actually have a path to not only be a part of the culture, but represent that culture is going to be super important. It shows that we're making progress to a more accepting culture. I think Polis is also someone that will also show the country how Democrats and Republicans can work together. Given that he was openly gay, it proves that people are willing and accepting to elect him and accept him. It's important to me that we actually show that these people exist and that they're important to society. It's uh, Colorado getting to show the rest of the country uh, that uh, it can be progressive. Would you still be here if you had different political views than Polis? Uh, yes, I would. It's a historical moment. All of the supporters here today are so diverse, so different in every way imaginable. But I found the one thing that they all have in common is they're so proud of how accepting their state has become, and they're proud to live in a Colorado for all. We're live in Denver. Tori Mason covering Colorado first. Tori, thank you.